You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with your digital news update. A Baltimore police detective was arrested for assaulting another officer at a strip club this weekend. It happened Sunday at Shea Joe. Charging documents say Detective Robert Burns and another man refused to pay their bar tab. The business called the police and officers tried to get them in to pay. After about 30 minutes of back and forth, officers say Burns tried to push his way out of the door. They grabbed officer's jacket and tore it and shouted, get out of my face, I will destroy all of you. We have the full breakdown of charging documents on our website at WMER2news.com. Well, today is the deadline for you to sign up for the child tax credit advance. If you're eligible, there's one more payment arriving in December. If you've never opted out, you could receive the full credit in one check. Parents could receive between $1,500 and $1,800 per child. If you have not filled out your 2019 or 2020 taxes, you can visit getct.org to file a simple version to start receiving the credits. Well, today marks the start of Baltimore City's Code Blue Extreme Cold Program. The goal is to prevent deaths related to the cold and protect those who are homeless, seniors and other vulnerable populations. From now until March 15th, the health commissioner can declare a cold blue extreme cold alert on nights when the temperature is 13 degrees or colder or 20 degrees with five mile an hour winds. During the time, the city will distribute meals to at risk senior populations, provide home weatherization services and provide cold weather education and outreach. We are starting off with a good mix of sun and clouds, but expecting more sunshine to push through as we get into the afternoon temperatures. Well, they're going to be a little bit warmer than they were on Monday, but still below where we should be struggling to get into the lower 50s. But I think we get there here in the city of Baltimore, although near the Mason Dixon line, we're cresting the upper 40. So needing the jackets throughout the day as it is going to unfortunately be on the chilly side. But things get better as we head towards Wednesday. Southerly winds bring us back into the 60s and we're warming into the 70s ahead of a cold front on Thursday. Unfortunately, that means rain chances and behind the cold front is cold air and we're falling back into the lower 50s by Friday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. We'll bring you updates on our top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download our WMER2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.